The state releases new information tonight in the investigation of a Wisconsin Dells thrill ride following a Florida girl's 100-foot fall. The State Department of Commerce says there was nothing mechanically wrong with the terminal velocity ride at Extreme World when Tegan Marti fell. The report instead blames the ride operator, Charles Carnell, and says Carnell dropped Marti before the cage she was in reached the top and before a net below was in proper position. And 12-year-old Tegan Marti is back in Florida tonight. News 3's Maria Guerrero has the latest on what her family is saying. Maria? Well, Susan, the Martis, who live in nearby Parkland, Florida, held a press conference today saying they are happy to be home. Julie Marti speaking to the media at Jackson Hospital in Miami, Florida, where Tegan is in the ICU. The Martis sharing family pictures of Tegan and also pictures of her on terminal velocity and of the 12-year-old at the American Family Children's Hospital in Madison, where she was until yesterday. Julie says Tegan knows she was badly hurt, but still does not remember going on the thrill ride. She clearly knows she's had surgeries and that she's trapped in this bed. She wanted, before we left yesterday, <laughs> When they wanted to brush her teeth, she said, I'll do it myself. But obviously she can't do it herself. But the determination is there, and that gives me a lot of hope, because that's how strong she is. Julie, Julie again expressed how thankful her family is for the outpouring of support, both in Florida from friends and family, and also from perfect strangers here in Wisconsin. Tegan will stay in the hospital's intensive care unit. Her family says she is stable, but of course has a long road ahead of her. Tegan will celebrate her 13th birthday, guys, this weekend. We will continue to wish them all well. Yes. News 3's Maria Guerrero. Thanks, Maria. Mm -hmm.